What's the number? 55. 50, I, I, 50, oh, yeah, 55. 57. 57. We are. See if the camera can see that. 53. 53. Ooh, he wins by price. Right? We, both, we both lose on prices right now. <laughs> <laughs> we went over. Oh, coach went over. Hi. 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 We are 14 minutes away. Gino's truck has a 5EK in it. Yeah. Just like this. So D9's getting fully 5EK, 3406E moved. Takes a cat to move a cat, bud. And a T-Rex. It's not a drone, it's just a camera. Well, we're gonna get the trailer pulled up, backed in. I guess we're gonna back the tractor up a little bit because we have some power lines we wanna stay away from and keep the road open. But we're gonna back the tractor up, pull the trailer up and back right in front of the mold board to pick it. Not unload the crane, officially mobile. You think we ought to put blocks under it now? Get the weight off those pins and everything? Although, when, did you notice even when he lifts it? Yeah. Hey, well, he can put his parking brake down. So right now, I'm putting the outriggers out here to the steel. Give ourselves a little more support. golden all the support
Just keep these on standby. That'd probably work right. We can just rig it right on there. So there's these guys. And they should work perfect. Right there. Right oh, in these holes. Just, he just here. rolled back up. Sam, are you broke down? Oh, you put your radio in and broke down. Let me get a couple <clears throat> shackles. I got a couple little ones. I think will work actually. You want me to hook up to it now, or are we gonna need to pick the push arm? Okay. This is extreme angulation. Oh yeah, dude. I'm telling you, you really need to get in there. That sweet remote start package. Yeah, I think that'll work. Are we centered or do we need to pull it over? We need to put our our trailer jacks down. Swamp mat. I think I had to dump the air out of the truck and trailer too. That seems pretty legit when you put the outriggers right on the beams. Yeah. on the trailer. Trailer? I missed trailer. I just... I don't see it. I don't see crane on trailer, outriggers down, airbags dumped. Which chart do you think we're going to have to go with? The stand back and hope it's enough chart? I'm sure someone in the comments could tell you. Hey, it'll either work or it'll be flipped over. I'm sure we'll all find out. Why don't we, you want to, uh, do we want that remote. in there to lift this off? I say, you want to grab my remote from my crane and we'll put the strap on this cylinder instead of on that. Crane, or you want me to crane? Just crane it. That big John. Perfect. Uh, 
anybody want to get in this thing and... she's made of. I wonder if we picked it up enough to put a crib block under the push arm and then set it back down. If it will, I don't know. That brick just snapped on the far side. We got quite a bit of down we can go. I chucked that one some somewhat of the way. We're gonna raise it down a little bit. Nope. Maybe that's too much. I try that right there, Junior. Oh, we're right there. You're playing with it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, there hold we go. up. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, bud. Tire iron and all. Oh, grab that thing. Oh. Yeah, buddy. That's a good thing about wear. He knows how to handle it, yeah. This is the time where I have to remind you that my highlight of retention is when you're blowing your mouth like ass bag. Do you know how hard it is for me to not say the things I want to say the whole time I'm here? <laughs> Probably, probably none of those things that you have in mind. But we can end it. One three quarter ratchet over there. Got it. That is a long one. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually use one of these remote forehead ratchets. It's like I'm a dedicated crane operator, but I don't have to be up there. <laughs> so you want to talk through your outrigger, Sam? So we got the trailer outrigger number one, and then we got crane outrigger number two, which look much more stout than trailer outrigger. If anything's gonna fail, it's probably gonna be trailer outrigger. That's why we have remotes so we can stand back when things are in the air. Oh, I missed a good shot. Gina just works too fast. It looks like Dino's kind of doing everything to me. That's fine. You guys wanna hold a camera? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's because he's well rested. Yeah, I got like two and a half hours of sleep last night. Oh, is that one like literally looks like you could pull it out? I hope so. Oh, it's not quite that. Not quite that easy. A little finesse with that crane control, yeah. you probably pull yeah. it out. Yeah. Crane guy. Mm. Come on, crane guy. He moves the blade arm. That's more concerning than anything. I would say this is going to be stuck anywhere. It'd be stuck in the flip flop of this scrappy RC crane setup. That is something. It, That's a Yanger <laughs> crane setup. This is scrappy, all right. Yeah. Oh, you need to rev it up. Oh, yeah. High class track. Up down is not the way, I guess. Look out. Big hands with danger. Hold on, it's going to swing at the trailer, I think, when that comes out of there. Oh, okay. It's not your trailer. Yeah. 
Give it a little downage. Yeah, I would say boom down a bit. You're like pulling out on it. I don't think whatever we do there is going to change it at this point. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh. I didn't do anything. This must be what it feels like to work for the state. That do anything for you? You keep prying off of your steel toe ring. <laughs> What about right there, Gina. <laughs> you can't get the B and O in there. Pick up just a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, girl. How can it wiggle that much? Did not come out. Yeah. It's the Chevy camshaft effect I think we got going on there. You spin it as you insert. Yeah. Damn bricks. I just keep bumping. Oh yeah. Keep coming. Got it. Whew. Now we just need that heat nanny there. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh man. Oh. Oh, no, let me see your tiny nip How does every mechanic not have these? I have a knockoff version. I'm poor. What, what are not, they? Not in your pocket, you know, what, though. What are they? Yeah, they're in my pocket. Oh. Mine are in that truck, and he can't afford nip -ex. Can we compare your nip -ex? Oh, my goodness. I got the Crescent brand. I'm like the Walmart version. I'm so compensating. Yeah. If I didn't spend it all on Starbucks every morning. Uh. <laughs> yeah, quit with them pick drinks. You can afford nip -ex. Let's see those canips do it. Let me try this. I find the rust on these tools disturbing. On what tools? All these snap-on sockets. I have no respect for anything in life. You can ask my snap-on guy. It's probably why I'm single at 31. I was gonna say, I could probably ask all your ex-girlfriends that. Yeah. What is that, two inch? I don't know. About to get the torch is what it's about to get. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated. I mean, just get a big cluster wrench. You turn it that far by hand. Yeah. Mm. It just has a couple mold up threads on it. Your elbow is. Is that reach a hole? That's it? a hole. Can we uh, hoist down on the. Raise it down. Raise it down. I think that's all of it, Gino. Alright, that'll work. Careful that doesn't crush your toesies. Yeah, I need a punch. It'll only go down until right there. <laughs> Look at the punch he gets me. That's the biggest one in there. This one has a specific duty and it is not this. <laughs> it's the closest one to working I can yep. Got it. Nailed it. So the blade is technically... Moment of truth, folks. Let me get out of the danger zone. <laughs> oh, we got this. Look at that, buddy. Gio, you're blocking the shot. Oh, my, my, my. Oh. I'm impressed. Just watch out, Dino. Hope you use good chain binders. They're half inch. Are they good? That's that's be, not yet to be decided. That's when it loses its mind. It just grabs it up. <laughs> Auto default is to floor it. <laughs> Why are we not happy, Bob? Alright, we're over the trailer, so I guess I need to go a little more. I 
gonna start swinging. Yeah, if we could just steer it around it and then I'll boom it down and go up. I think we just haul it home that way. Yeah. Booming down. I think I might just have to set it down and then. Yeah. Can I set it down or does it fall back? It'll fall back a little bit. All right. You could probably like just cheat it back. Yep. Yep. Long lever. I think that's probably far enough, huh? I'm gonna boom down. I think we wanna put it in the middle. We can put one arm on each side. Yeah. I guess we need crib blocks now. We're using them all. What do you want to go backwards, you're saying? I think I keep my end here, then it go that way. It's like really not bad at all if, the, if it would just receive it. I think I need to pick it up a little bit. Yeah. I'm impressed by the capacity. Like this, thing seems this has got to be testing it right here. Like we are chained to the trailer. She can't. What if we gave an extra out here? Will that boom up at all? Well, you just can't get that under there right now, Gina? Yeah, I mean, we could, like, we could go with one. It just depends on... Can you take your corner towards the road a little bit? The fact... I don't know. You're, I think if you stack the two little ones, you might be closer, Gino. Well, this corner bit's off the ground. Oh, uh, okay.
If that won't bend the boom, I don't know what will. Yeah. You don't feel good about it? No. Okay. It's a lot of weight. I don't think it would go anywhere, but just in the off chance that it does. What's that wiggle like? Yeah. Take uh, take it off. We'll grab a Yeah. I'll split these off here and we can just swing him right around. Right. Grab this one and set it on. Just don't take a nap right there. Yeah. I don't think it's going anywhere. The trailer's not going to feel too good if it does. Yeah, watch your, oh, watch your hoodie. You just got all in that grease. Ooh. So we gotta take these big bolts off, which yeah. may be what's on that impact, actually. Well, I was looking for uh, it. Had the socket, I think yeah. Buzz that, fella. Is that all there is? Hey, little fella. Man, never sees an all. Look at that. I'm putting bolts on the track, so we sort of. So you just know you're gonna lose. Them. So I was gonna put this pin back in, actually. Because we have this lock. Back. I'm catching a real lean on this one. What do you think of that big John? It's like you've done this before. I honestly never have. You're missing the action back here, big John. We got the exciting stuff up here. Sir, I see all there three no of you working. That's gonna take it off of there. It just did. Are you serious? Well, they, remember they swap blades all the time. Yeah, I was gonna say that is the. I eat my words, sir. That is the worst okay. impact on snap. Is this a D9 because you get four bolts on that instead yes. of just two? Four bolt main, see. Ah. Better. Or gooder. Yeah. Now watch your legs, big John. Yeah, that is kind of precariously sitting there. It's literally just friction holding that there. That's the guy. Nailed it. Man. Just abuse it, Gino says. Hey, I, I, I can do that. Why do you get the pins? Why do I what? Why'd you get the pins? Oh, these so are all the little guys. Not uh, in the socket. But it comes off when you don't want it to. To be honest, I don't know. I... What did Mr. Snappy handed him? You can't be missing the shot. You got them all up? I think so. Hold on, hold on. We got a washer. Hey, easy on your hoses there, bud. You might want those. I'll find just like you or I just get the cutter out and just pause them right off. Preferably your cutter. Yeah. <laughs> I got a quickie saw with me. We'll get them right off. Oh, these ones are mint. They're going to come right off. He's not as prepared as us with the TD25, Gino. No, honestly. That was a that was a golden mission right <laughs> that there. That was. That was. It didn't get any better than that. Wooden bridges and all. Yeah, that, that covered bridge. We should got a picture in that thing. <laughs> with the TD25. Yeah. Got a water for you, Matt. I got Gatorades in my truck. Cold, refreshing water. December day. I can't believe it's the day after Christmas and I'm sweating wearing a sweatshirt out here. That well? How cold is it? Off. It was supposed to be like 62 today. 
You find a battery? Buddy hooked us up. Yeah, I, I was like, hey man, you got an empty bucket over there? <laughs> Look at that right there. 55 degrees, day after December, or day after day Christmas. After it is day the day after, after Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I'm just going home. <laughs> Get in your truck, please. Oh, I like it. Let's get them for it. You know what? That thing might just pull off. <laughs> it does have some flaws. Let me grind this cap. Oh, let me get all these bolts and stuff. Put a hook the crane on this. I would be. I'm all for it. That's how it got that bend, anyways. 345 counterweight got the best of me one time. And you got that ranch. Ranch. It's turning her a little bit. Or do we have to do the outside one first? Oh, I think we're busted loose. Oh, yeah, buddy, we got her. We're in that scrap snap on category now. This is a gear wrench. wrench. This is a torque up mission. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on a fixed income. I don't have stuff like that. <laughs> Me either. Anymore. I could I could get out the hydraulic wrench, but that would be way too much effort. I think I'd go for the torch before the hydraulic wrench yeah, if I mat a couple sure. bolts. The flame wrench will always get her. How am I doing as cameraman? Pretty good. There you go. You only got to beat Big John, so. <laughs> Poor Big John. If you show up, just you're ahead of the game. Up. Just showing up? Yep. Yeah. We had to import John all the way from Iowa. That's what, that's what was the timing of this whole job. <laughs> Big John won't even take the lid off the bucket for us. Oh, do you want a water? <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch a break out here. Awesome. How are we going to rig this thing? It's an old seven. Oh, you were five, five thousand oh, I yeah. still like your idea of just picking off the tilt cylinder. It'll pick level enough. It'll it, it'll it, hang down a ways, but we got height. It's too much! Yeah, put that on there. Why are we, uh... Oh, you, you're, you're heavy on that. You want me to swing? Swing this way. If only this thing was remote controlled, like you could get to a good spot. Are we good? Come down? Hey Matt, what's these uh, parts over here? They're, they're mine. Oh, they are? Yeah. We got more sprockets, we got more idlers, we got more tilt cylinders, we got more stiff arms. A little bit of everything in there. And this is, this is a taste of the extra parts that come with this beast. Hey, there's like cribbing and stuff right here. Never mind, it's junk. No, it's junk. Hey, there's like cribbing and stuff right here. It's better than I.
Easy, fellas. Do you have your carry deck CCO? I was just about to say, are you CCO? Is that CCO like compatible? Can you clearly see the answer here? <laughs> Is that far enough back? Yeah, sure. Drop it down. Raise it down. Is it out? No, it's been recorded. How's she? How's she? Yeah. Sometimes they don't go quite empty. Reckon it ain't got no gas in it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Reckon it ain't got no gas in it. Wish we could find some french fried potatoes. I could go for some milk. Watch your head. This is the this is the rig and rodeo, bud. You gotta be ready for the hook. Can't you just go through that V? I had it there. He didn't like. Can you uh, go through the V? You got it right around the other. One. Is it going to stay on that? We don't know. Can you flop that over? Or? Let me swing over. You all ready, Sam, to go? No. I'm ready for lunch, though. I am very ready for lunch. What time is it? Uh, lunch time? We got here at 9.30, how'd we, how'd we make out? 12.30. That's not bad. Three hours, one blade. <laughs> you gotta edit that out, big guy. <laughs> Hard. We're up here talking a little smack, don't worry about it. Uh, not you, Frank, for once. Yeah, not, not Frank, for once. Frank, oh. we definitely take your help on this. What about, that's a D9, eh? That went pretty well. Two grains held. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Thank you.
how a crane works. We're gonna pull the river back out of it real quick. And, uh, then I think we're gonna go find lunch. Gino, you going fishing? Yeah. I was waiting to smash it to 2.25. Jesus. Hey, John, what do you think? I think uh, TD-25 and this would have a nice head to head. I don't think it'd be much competition somehow. We're gonna put them head to head anyway. <laughs> Not with C. She'll have no clutches left. Match the G. Yeah, you get the G running. We're gonna have something going on. We're opening up a pit. <laughs> get that ADD, the G, this thing. Oh, it's going on, bud. That looks way bigger than the T-Rex. The volts? <laughs> hey, you got a crane right above your head. That flies out of the way home. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> Well, we're loaded up. Camera crew's packing up. Gina wanted to pull the ripper shank out to save a little bit more weight off the tractor. But that's the load. We've got two chains holding the push arms, two, four chains holding the blade down. Of course, the Terex had its four half inch chains already. We gotta pick up those couple crib blocks. Throw them on the trailer and strap them down and let's roll.
a big number. 18.5. 18.5. What about you? One dollar? Hey! Well, we're at 70,200. We're at 53 something with just the T-Rex. Better get the backup. I think we're somewhere in the 17,000 pounds. One dollar! So our empty weight was 52,900. Seventeen three. So price is right rule, Sam wins, he's a brick. What's going on? Well, we just climbed a hill at traffic speed, which is not like Sam. Normally Sam is just hammer down. The old kitty cat's turned up pretty hot. And uh, he actually had to put his four ways on. So that's like, something's definitely wrong for Sam. And he says he's making boost. He just called us. He says he's pulling off here to check things out. He was making boost, but not enough boost. It's down to about 15 pounds. So he's thinking, we got a hole in a boost hose or something like that. We're uh, pulling off and going to have a little look-see. The last time Sam had boost issues when I was with him, he sheared a turbo shaft clean in half. So hopefully it's not that.
Just watch yourself there, Matt. This does concern me just a bit. You want to put those crib blocks under yeah, the heel? Hold it there. Yes, sir. I don't think it'll flip over now. By the dim glow of a shrouded campfire. We need more. Oh, mine's good. How about that carburetor, though? Yeah, I agree. <laughs>
Raise it down. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. I'm impressed, because I'm in the dark. Well, we completed our first big Terex on the road mission, and she did a pretty good job, but we got a few little bugs to work out. Mainly with the radio, the range is terrible. I put that external antenna on, and I don't know what's going on, but if I'm more than 10 feet away from the cab, we got issues. So we got to get that sorted out. It's not running super great. It doesn't want idle, but I think the throttle cable might have kind of got stretched out. We'll figure that out. I think we want to get it run on gasoline as well as propane, because then when you're outside like this, you could fill it up at a gas station, not have to worry about taking your extra propane bottle, all those kind of things. But all in all, I think she did a really good job. It impressed us with the picking capability. I think this was all she wanted, taking that the nine blade on the back of the trailer wouldn't boom up. We kind of had to set it down and work it. So they're definitely pushing the envelope there. When the when the blade is in tight to it, it's fine. I don't think there's any issue there. No, it seems like it liked it there. Yeah. We just have to like bump around the corner to make yeah. that swing you happen. You literally drag the corner of the machine to make it happy. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, having the extra outrigger and tied to a barge didn't hurt. Right. We got basically a trailer and truck weight of extra counterweight helping. Now the counterweights aren't as wide. Basically, I think we just need like a boom truck knuckle boom to just permanently put on the trailer with big outriggers I to come have out. I can sell you. But our work here is done. So we made it home. The D9 blade is unloaded out at the steam show. So that all went well. Terex overall went well. I was having some problems with the radio losing connection from the transmitter to the receiver. You can see that when the engine goes full throttle and it quits moving how I want it to, which is quite the reaction to having that happen. But tore the remote apart here now that we got home and it looks like the problem is the antenna bulkhead that goes from the board to the outside where the antenna actually connects that ended up being a multi-piece unit. So the antenna on the outside not doing anything, probably the problem. Fortunately, we carry that at work for our cell modems, the exact same, but a little bit more heavy duty. So let's get this put on and see if it helps our range. Let's see what she'll do. Well, that's a whole lot better. Woohoo! That's a win. So it seems like our broken antenna cable is definitely the issue with the range problems we were having. So I hope that is the final fix on the controller range issues. It seems way happier now. Let's leave that thing together, not take it apart, rip that cable off, whatever happened the first time. Overall, Terex, definite win. Worked out awesome hauling that D9 blade. 
it was a fun time getting Matt's D9 all hauled. Be sure to check out Matt's channel for more info on hauling the tractor. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.